HGTV's hit show Bargain Block has taken it up a notch for season three. Keith and Evan have more houses, bigger spaces, and face bigger obstacles than ever during the jaw-dropping transformations. Take a look. Okay, guys, I got a nice place I want you to see today. Are you serious? Is that from the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> I mean, I've seen you work wonders on homes just as bad as this. So she had lost her mind. It's collapsing. Okay. Where's the witch? Just joking. OK. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> and Keith and Evan join me now. Welcome, guys. Good to see you. Thank, Thank you for us. having us. Yeah, so uh, listen, Evan, people are loving this season because you're doing things differently this year. I mean, you're buying, you guys are buying up multiple houses on the same street, right? Mm -hmm. It's always nice when we can find a, find a neighborhood or find a block that has a lot of abandoned houses because yeah. then we can just go in and fix one by one. And it's really easy for us both logistically but also so on the business side when yeah. we can set our own comps and I'll, and, and I think true. if you go in and fix multiple houses all at once it has a much bigger impact yeah. Yeah. absolutely to the community to also all the home values on that yeah. street yeah. so um, Keith tell me how important Shay is in this process because she's got to tell you guys right like yeah. this is a good idea and this is not a great idea yeah Shay's kind of our make or break moment it's like really having a great sage wisdom advice person with you and she knows the market she knows the city she knows what we do really well so it's helped just unbelievably to have her on our team does she ever yeah. discourage you from getting things though she all the tries time to. and do yeah. you listen <laughs> we don't normally, i mean price makes me listen and normally, yes, you know, yeah. she knows what we'll take and what we won't take but she's been the best thing that could have ever happened to our business yeah and how important is it for you guys to kind of incorporate the history of the town of the mm -hmm. community into designing and building these homes well detroit has a really amazing history mm -hmm. um, and it also has a really amazing architectural history too yeah. because there was one time where the city was the most wealthy city in the entire world mm. and so you have some real architectural gems throughout the whole town yeah. and so whenever we go into a house if there is something like original marble floors or or original like six inch plank oak or uh -huh. things like that we'll try and save it say anything you can yeah. save yeah. that has like a story a history mm -hmm. you Definitely. gotta try to save that stuff right yeah. yeah but a lot of times those floors are just kind of rotten and wet and yeah. falling apart most of them are not <laughs> saved yeah. A lot of them are way beyond help on that yeah. kind of stuff, but it's fun to see that transformation. It feels like life literally is being breathed back into yes, the house. Yes, it's mm -hmm. good to get that mega sledge out <laughs> and, and, and give her, let her take you for a ride. I can't believe mega sledge. I was cracking up when you were saying that. I was like, she's going to take you for a ride. I'm going to make really t-shirts. Well. I rode mega sledge. <laughs> yes, and she was my prom date. All right, but you've really become a part of this community too, right, guys? I mean, like you, yeah. you teamed up with a jam company, right? We have. And, and tell me what they're doing, what you're doing together. So one of the biggest problems in Detroit um, is the uh, the roofs and these houses, when they start to fail, there's really no stopping the damage after that. So right. if we can stop that, the water intrusion at the roof, most of the rest of the house can be pretty much saved or easily fixed. So our, yeah. our uh, project that we're working on is raising money to put roofs on people's houses in Detroit that might not be able to afford them normally. So yeah. mm -hmm. we've done this fundraiser with a jam. It's called Raising the Roof. It's raisin. It's that. really tasty. Mm -hmm. But it's just a fun way to kind of give back to the community because they've done a lot for us. I love that. Yeah, you got to start with a yes. roof over your head. Yes. Yes. Yeah, uh, but it's not just TV that you guys are going doing. You also have the company. Is it Nine Homes, it's called? Mm -hmm. yep. What's the first room you like to attack? when uh, you're taken over. <laughs> normally, you know, back in the day when we were living in them, we kind of had to start with like a bedroom. Or a bathroom. Or a bathroom. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I would say... Is that how you started? Like uh -huh. you did like, you'd yeah. live in them and uh -huh. then you would yeah. live in a totally... Yeah. So broken down blown yeah. up bad, bad bad house so yeah. you get the bathroom working first you get yeah. a bedroom set up so you have a, like a, a zen moment of like calm yeah. in the house before you walk through the rest of it yes because <laughs> every morning when you wake up you know and you're walking across sawdust and yeah. trash and just construction debris it's very depressing it's you know? depressing and motivating so it, is, yes, it is it is it's yeah. like i have to get this done twice as fast now yeah so, yeah that's funny um is there any homes that you'd like to revisit that you've done and you thought i want to go back and see how we how we really did that because in my mind it was really great. 
<laughs> I would love to go back and see the French country house. Uh -huh. I thought that was a really, a particularly beautiful home. Oh and even God. from season three, the cozy cabin, I thought was such a, those two, I just thought were so beautiful and I'd yeah. love to go back and see what they're like now. Yeah, yeah. Is that the one that you wanted to move into? I, I want to move you, into most of them. Yeah, it's I occupational know. hazard. It is. Get we it. get them done and it's the best thing we've ever done, so we move yeah. now. So. Yeah. So, so let me ask you this. Every project you do, does it make you want to change your own house? Yes. It, <laughs> that Keith, was a yes. quick answer. <laughs> not, not me. It's opposite yeah. for him. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God, we could do that in our house. And we did. Yeah. So yeah. season three, you'll see the big renovation we did on our house oh, coming up. Nice. Um, and well, we incorporated a lot of But it is nice to have a permanent place now because yes. all that moving gets a little discombobulating. It'd be great if you guys could come to Westchester because <laughs> I got a roof issue right now. Right, oh my god. <laughs> it's the number one problem. Raising that roof. All right, well, when you can catch uh, Bargain Block Wednesdays at 9 p.m. on HGTV and available to stream the next day on Max. And join Keith and Evan for watch parties on their website, 9.homes. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Thank you Thanks for having us.